Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back with a video on Software Defined Radio. In this video, I'm going to look at an application called Spectrum Painter, uh, which is available, comes pre-compiled in Dragon OS Focal. Uh, so what this application will do that uh, I'll transmit an image from HackRF and I'm going to receive it using my RTLSDR dongle. As you can see, it is connected. And you will see the picture right here on the Spectrum. So I'm going to transmit at 455 megahertz. I have my GQRX is running. And for the transmitting side, I have my HackRF, which is right here connected. And that is running our Dragon OS Focal with a program called Spectrum Painter. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to transmit an image. I'm going to convert that image into an IQ uh, in phase and quadrature. And using that ping image, I'm going to transmit that from my HackRF, which you can see is connected. Uh, and I'm going to receive it using uh, my RTLSDR dongle, which is connected to my laptop. And you will see that signal on that waterfall graph right here. So let me just give you the demo of it, and I'll walk you through after the demo. So the cool thing about this is that uh, you can send any image, and you can transmit any image using your HackRF. For that, uh, just simply go to your CD USR. So let me just simply go in. CD usr slash source the application is called spectrum painter uh, which is right here as you can clearly see right here this is the application so simply go into that folder cd spectrum spectrum ls it and the smiley face image the first image that comes default is under examples so go into cd examples and ls it and you, this is the image that we're going to send. So I was working with different images, but I'll show you anyhow. So this is the image that I'm going to transmit. So in order for you to do that, you need to go to a Spectrum Painter GitHub page. This only two set of commands that you need are here in HackRF examples. So the first thing you need to do is just simply copy this and then transfer it. That's all. So the first command what we'll do, I'll show you in a demo as well. So just simply copy this command. Go to spec, a Spectrum Painter, and let me go back one folder, and I'm going to simply paste clipboard, and I was trying to run it. You can run this command using sudo. So what it will do, it will invoke a program called Spectrum Painter with a sample rate of one mega samples, but you need to try it with two mega samples, and it will convert an image, which is in a pink form, in your folder called examples smiley.png. It's an emoji and it will convert that into IQ. And so that's the first step you need to do. After you do that, uh, the second command that is available, uh, that is to transmit using HackRF transfer command. So it will transfer that smiley.iq HackRF at frequency 2.45 uh, gigahertz. But, si but I know that my RTLSDR dongle is not compatible to that frequency, so I'm going to transmit that at 455 megahertz. So let me give you the demo of that first, and then I'll show you this. So we're going to transmit the smiley face image. I have already run this command before. So, so the first thing you need to do, I'll show you. So I'm going to change this to smiley. OK, so this is the HackRF command. So HackRF underscore transfer T smiley iq hack rf at 455 megahertz with the sample rate of two you can increase the gain uh, the default gain is about 10 for the amplifier built-in amplifier uh, but i've changed this to 40 it works perfectly fine for me that's why it wasn't working for when i had this value to be 10 but it was working perfectly fine so by just simply hitting enter it will start transmitting it and you will start seeing the image here So that's the first thing. So basically, you can send any image you want uh, using this uh, hack RF transfer uh, protocol. And by converting an image into a PNG file, uh, into an IQ file, and then you can transfer, uh, transmit that. Uh, I have tried it, experimented with different images. So for example, let me show you the image of, of uh, my equipment uh, lab. So when I transmit that, so here's the image of the equipment. So this is my lab. You can clearly see that's my VNA that is right here. That's my HackRF. Uh, 
USRP. So this is the image of my hacker uh, VNA. So the first thing that you need to do before you, so let's say you want to copy an image. Let's say I have a ping file right here on my folder. Uh, that is right here. I want to name it differently. I want to show you, so let me just rename this to uh, LB. All right, let me just call this image LB. And what I'm going to do now, what I'm going to do now, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to convert that using the command which is there. So what I'm going to do, first thing you need to do, you need to copy this image. So the first thing I'll do, I'll copy this image. So it's on my desktop. So I'm going to copy this image lb.png. So I'm going to copy this. So uh, since I'm copying it in US uh, user source folder, so I need to use sudo, sudo copy lb into where? I want to go into usr src slash spectrum painter. That's the folder. Within that folder, there's another folder called examples. So that's the first thing I'll do. Now, when I look at, now let me open my second, let me clear this out. When I go into CD examples, I will see this. Okay, there is a ping uh, folder, a uh, ping file, which is called LB, which is the image of my equipment. Now I'm going to CD out of it. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to my GitHub page. I'm going to copy this command, the first command, which will convert that image into IQ form so I can transmit it using HackRF. So once I copy this command, I'm going to paste clipboard and I'm going to use it with sudo because it will have a permission denial. I'm going to change the sample rate to two mega samples and that's about it. So what I'm and I'm going to, since the image name is not a smiley, it's LB, I'm going to change this to LB. So what this basically doing, it's going into that uh, example folder and looking for that image, which is called LB and converting it into an IQ form. And you have to give it a name as well. So I'm going to change this smiley to LB as well. So let me just call this LB. Now, after you have done everything, just hit enter. So basically what is done now, if I were to ls in this folder, you will see an lb.iq hackrf. This is what you would see. So basically it has converted that image, which was lb.png into lb.iq hackrf. Now you're ready to transmit that using the second command, which is right here. So copy this command, go back here, paste clipboard. Couple of things that you need to change. Uh, I'm gonna change this gain of an amplifier to 40. And I want to change the samp rate to two mega samples. Everything is all right. This by default, this is 2.45 gigahertz. I want to change this. So I'm going to raise this and I want to change this to 254, 245, 254, 55. I'm sorry. And I'm going to remove one, one zero. So I am transmitting this image, which I am calling it LB. lb dot iq hack rf using hack rf transfer command at 455 megahertz that has a samp rate of two mega samples and with an amplifier gain of about 40 that is being transmitted via my hack rf right here so after i've done everything right when i hit enter you will see that i start transmitting it and you will start seeing the image right here on my spectrum so this is how you basically transmit an image using uh, Spectrum Painter. You can transmit different images. For example, I have an image uh, called test, I believe. Let me just change this. I have already converted one image into test. Uh, let me just simply try that. And let me try this. So this image is actually an image, which is right here. I have my picture. I have the name. I have my name as you can clearly see and stuff like that. I can try it with another picture. Uh, let me try this uh, with HackRF transfer. I want to call, I think the last I was working with my channel picture, the one that I have on my YouTube, let me just hit enter. 
and you will start seeing an image. Uh, I hope you can you can see this image. This was not a very big image. It's just my face. Uh, uh, so that's it. That's about it. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. And thanks for watching.